Revelation chapter number 17 verse number 11 and the beast that was and is not even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goes into perdition now we are zeroing in now we are zeroing in on the beast that was and is not in other words pre-existed didn't exist always he's not infinite who is this last beast and then we have the parable or we have a play on words how can this beast be the seventh which is the eighth I thought seven was seven and eight was eight how can something be seven and eight well very simple let's go to another image okay so we have our image here of King Nebuchadnezzar's statue that he saw in the second chapter of Daniel then we have Daniel's four beasts that he saw in a vision in the seventh chapter of Daniel we know that these two are parallel just about every Bible student that studied this will agree to that now but we see an entirely different composition yet similar composition as well between the two visions as we explain in verse number 10 we get our kings if we count one for Babylon two for Persia, three for Medes, four for the Grecians, five for the Roman Republic, six for the Roman Empire, then seven for Antichrist. So Antichrist definitely was of the seventh. Undisputable. Now but how is he the eighth? That's the question. If you look at our vision, it's right here. We have two feet, which can represent one, but it's right here, it's representing two. Two feet, seven, eight. Antichrist's kingdom had two distinct differences, if you remember in the scriptures, just like Antiochus Epiphanes. Antiochus Epiphany started out with a lot of smooth saying, a lot of flattery, a lot of he was going to do this and that. But then there was a stark turn, a fork in the road, a dramatic change. And such will be with Antichrist. He will start out promising peace. He will, he, in fact, he will be the great peacemaker if you believe him. But then the scriptures talk about how he had war in his heart. How he would kill everyone and everything that do not worship him. And his false prophet will point people towards him. Mass murder, mass persecution, mass torture, mass punishment. A distinct difference in his kingdom. That's why we have the two feet. One foot would be Antichrist masquerading. The other foot would be Antichrist showing the world the demonic, insane heretic that he is. Eccentric. Out of control. That's how he gets to be the seventh and the eighth. God, in the name of Jesus, we should look on and bless and have your way. Touch, save, sanctify, fill with your spirit and draw individuals to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Have a great day.